Shalom, Israel. Shalom, Yahweh. Hashim, Yahweh. Shalom, to my brothers. And to all my sisters, Shalom, Yahweh. 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 Mr. Officer Tazo. Alright, and we're from the ISUPK right here in Trinidad and Tobago under Commanding General Yohana. Alright, and now bringing the truth about the Bible. Alright, uh, everything what we heard before, this is the truth what we're going and speak now. That's right. Uh, you understand? And just the, um, the other day, it had um, 420, I think it was April the 20th. Right. 420, I know Tazo can give me the, um, the article. Cancel for sure. Mm -hmm. Right. So this 420, cannabis culture, right? Mm -hmm. 420, pronounced for the content only for dash 20, right? So what's spelling it out. It's cannabis culture slang for marijuana and hashish consumption, especially smoking around the time 420 p.m. And also refers to cannabis-oriented celebrations that take place annually on April the, the 20th, which is 420 in U.S. form. At locations in the United States where cannabis is legal, cannabis dispensaries, will often offer discounts on their products on April the 20th. Right, so this 420 is like a, a cannabis celebration. Right. Where people just come out and just smoke weed. Right. 420. Right, it's really, if you could give me, if scroll on cars and give me the, the right. origins. Yeah, right? how would it? So, so this 420, when you hear 420, is a time, 420 p.m., mm -hmm. where everybody just come out mm -hmm. and just smoke marijuana right right and it is also um a time of the year which is mm -hmm. april the 20th right right so you go and get into the origins of it where it come from right and really and truly you ain't supposed to smoke weed right because smoking weed is the reason why it is them two um brothers mm -hmm. mash up or vandalize the church right you know what I'm they mash up a building mm -hmm. you understand right because they're, they're, they're high smoking weed is wrong the lord said don't smoke weed right you know, and I understand people they they stress so because they've been abused or they're financially stressed. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know, some people been influenced by others, peer pressured by others. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know, to smoke marijuana. But mm -hmm. smoking marijuana is wrong. Right. People are smoke when people go to do a crime, they smoke drugs. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know, they just smoke weed before they go and do a crime. Because mm -hmm. in the normal spirit. They know that they can't do it to, mm -hmm. to do something so heinous. Mm -hmm. You understand? Which is to, to murder somebody. Right. You understand? If it's not self defend, you understand? If it's self defense, you know, you have to defend yourself. Right. But if it's not self defense, you know, the, for them to actually go into that, that heinous spirit, mm -hmm. go and murder somebody. Mm. You understand? Shoot somebody nine times, 22 times, or, or, or chop them up mm. with a cutlass. Mm. They had to smoke weed foods. Mm -hmm. Smoking weed is wrong. The Lord. That uh, use the um, the herbs. If you put it in food to eat, or you boil it and drink it, mm -hmm. you understand? Or use it as medication, but not marijuana. Right. You understand? Research so that marijuana does get um schizophrenia or mm -hmm. bipolar. Mm -hmm. That all marijuana does do smoke it. Taking drugs is wrong. Right. As well, with you say I'm crack is whack. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? Mm -hmm. So um, I, so again, yeah, that why them two brothers and them vandalized that building there was high mm -hmm. you know and whatever substance that was taken there was high mm -hmm. cannot be smoking drugs stop taking drugs that's right it is against the law in the bible right the lord say he suffer a witch not to live right a witch is a drug dealer mm -hmm. you know what I'm when, when you look up um what witch does do a witch does mix potions mm -hmm. and have you on that spell mm -hmm. what marijuana does do Right. Marijuana is different um herbs they combine together. Mm -hmm. oh, and what yeah, go ahead and tell so like it's a, um the, the, the same thing that they're doing is to, as the witch doing is to alter your mind state. Yeah, your proper mm -hmm. mindset as yes, let's not break all day. Right? They can't go and do a, a crime in the right mind state because they know what well, that outer that outer order then that outer the norms, you know what I mean? So that is what that is what them things in them that is what the Lord said not to suffer no witch to live because you go change the people them mind state from operating how they're supposed to and there's all kind of madness going, rapings gonna happen, killings, murderings, vandalism, mm -hmm. all them things and them so really and truly are yeah, I'm pointing there exactly what you're saying, sir. Yeah. So that is so the so no the drugs it come just like the um the potion what the the, the witch does mix up right in, in she pots. Right. You understand? Mix up all them different herbs together. Mm -hmm. When you smoke it, it will have you on that spell. Mm. You won't know who he is. You will start to see things. Mm -hmm. You're seeing some green man in the sky. Mm. You might want you might feel you might start to fly and wanna run off a building to see if you can mm. fly. Mm. Or you might just start to what, vandalize a building. Mm -hmm. Like what them two um, fellas did mm -hmm. the, um, the other day. 
right, so I'm, yet as well, going the origin. Yes, sir. Right, mm -hmm. going back to the article, the 420 article, origins. In 1971, five high school students in San Rafael, California, used the term 420 in connection with a plan to search for an abandoned cannabis crop based on a treasure map made by the grower, calling themselves the Waldos because their typical hangout spot was a wall outside the school. The five students, Steve Kappa, Dave Reddix, Jeffrey Noel, Larry Schwartz, and Mark Gravich, designated the Lewis Pasture State st um, statue sorry, on the grounds of San Rafael High School as their meeting place and 4.20 p.m. as their meeting time. Right, so the, it, it was just, they had a map to find some abandoned, um, mm. abandoned cannabis weed. Mm. Mm -hmm. son, and they just get a time 420 at 420 we go meet by this specific wall where it does always meet mm -hmm. at 420 p.m mm -hmm. so we could go and find this cannabis on, mm -hmm. on this map that we have mm -hmm. right. the waldos referred to this plan with the phrase 420 louis after several failed attempts to find the crop the group eventually shortened their phrase to 420 which ultimately evolved into a code word the teens used to refer to consuming cannabis. Right, so 420, you understand? Something like, you imagine drugs, yes, so just by four, five high school students, mm. five. Mm. And because it's marijuana, I guess so big. Mm -hmm. You understand? It go to be some popular all around the world now. Mm. 420, everybody's smoking marijuana. Mm. Uh, and they're proud about it. Mm. When they don't smoke the marijuana now, they might go home and want to beat up their wife because they're high. Mm. You understand? Know Vice versa, she might be smoking um, mm. cannabis and she wants to go home to her husband and beat him up. Mm. You understand? Know because uh, abuse in a relationship goes both ways. Yeah? It's mm -hmm. the man or the woman. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know so um, continue after as well. Right. Steve Hager of High Times popularized the story of, of the Waldos. The first High Times mention of 420 smoking and a 420 holiday appeared in May 1991. And the connection to the Waldos appeared in December 1998. Hager attributed the early spread of the phase to grateful dead followers. After Waldo, Reddix became a roadie for the Grateful Dead's basis, Phil Lesh. Right. And, yeah, yeah, yeah that's what it is. So right. basically that, that is how the origins of the 420 started. Right. These five high school students mm. one wanted to find some um, treasure map with some abandoned cannabis. Mm. And they gave it a nickname 420 or 420 p.m. They would meet up mm -hmm. to have it. Right. And they went, it escalated around the world, 420. Mm. Everybody now want to smoke weed at 420 p.m. And also the day that it is celebrated mm. is April the 20th, mm. right? The 420. Mm -hmm. The four is for the fourth month, which is April. Twentieth mm -hmm. is the twentieth day of April. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm um, giving the Leonard Howell. Right. So now we're going to talk a little bit about um, Haile Selassie. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, Leonard Howell. Right. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, probably yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Check and make sure everything right. For sure. Yeah. 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 And Haile Selassie, I just say Haile Selassie, he came to Trinidad, mm -hmm. right, some, um, some years ago. Right. Right, and they were celebrating his anniversary mm -hmm. that Haile Selassie came to Trinidad. Right. You understand? But really and truly, why would you want to celebrate right. a man that didn't even do nothing for black and Hispanic people? You understand? They didn't do nothing at all for the black and Hispanics, right? So um, that's all you can do. So like yeah, we'll be, um, Leonard, but right now we're not live on on this on the street anymore on the Facebook page, right? I just double check in here, quick. Yeah. Yes, sir. No, sir. Down. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Right. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, the seller here. Want to pull two minutes to um, double check it before you. No, no, no. Maybe we can do For sure, Leonard Howell, right? Yeah, Leonard Howell. Oh, yes, sir. This for the Wikipedia, the Wikipedia article on this man called Leonard Howell, right? Leonard Percival Howell, 16th of June, 1898, to February, the 25th of February, 1981, also known as the Gong or Gigi Marag, for Gong Guru, was a Jamaican religious figure. According to his biographer, Eileen Lee, or Helen Lee, sorry, Howell was born into an Anglican family. He was one of the first preachers of the Rastafari movement, along with Joseph Hebert, Archibald Dunkley, and Robert Hines. 
and is known by many of the first and many as, as is known by many as the first rasta right so so Leonard howell was known as the first rasta mm -hmm. Leonard howell right right so just uh um go back a little bit highly Selassie i they wanted to celebrate his the day that he came mm -hmm. right his anniversary that he came to trinidad mm -hmm. right but Highly Selassie did nothing for black and Hispanic people. Right. He, he came here and black and Hispanic people still suffering. Mm -hmm. And others still want to celebrate a man mm. who didn't do nothing for black and Hispanic people. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. and, and to top it off, Highly Selassie, he's a heathen. He's an African um, heathen. Right. He's not an Israelite. Right. The Africans don't need saving. Right. The, 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 the Chinese don't need saving. Correct. You understand? Um, who the, the white man? Well, he definitely don't, be, don't need saving. Right. Okay. Them Arabs, all the other all the other race don't need saving. Right. You understand? I know some people like to say, well, but all are we suffering? And look at Bangladesh. You know, mm. all are we suffering? Mm -hmm. When you look at the suffering amongst every single race, it's black people who right. need the help. That's right. Right. Them right. other race, if they're suffering, that that's small thing. Right. Compared to the, the hardship and the hell that right. we going through. Right, Nobody right. know what we just be going through in the ghettos. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know Unless they actually right. come in and actually see it. They can't stand up on the outside and say, well, nah, he ha he sells so. Mm -hmm. Now, all that understand systematic oppression. That's right. right. Now, black man walk into the bank. Right. And because the East Indian own the bank or the East Indian the manager, mm -hmm. and they see you as a black man walking in, they ain't want to give you no loan. Right. They're they, they going to make it hard for you. They're going to say, well, you have a piece of land mm. uh, on your name. Mm. Um, you, you have a, um, like a hundred thousand save up in a bank account, mm. all kind of things they go ask, they just to make it hard on you. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know like systematic oppression. Them, them be sitting there in Bangladesh or wherever, right. you have to walk in the bank and get a loan. Right. You understand? Right. So, they, them, them are going to hell. We need saving. Had right. this last time came to Trinidad. And they say he went, Arima, he went, I'm thinking, see lots. Mm. He went and do ghettos right. in Trinidad. And mm. black people still suffer. Mm. No nah, man, um, damn highly Selassie. Right, he right. did nothing for black people. That's right. right. You know, so why could tell her who did something for black people? Is commanding generally That's right. That's right. That's in right. the IHS. That's, That's right. That's right. That's right. right. That's right. right. When I look come in, when I look come in this school, right. and I look see that spirit of brotherhood. That's right. You know, so that the men and the sisters have. Mm -hmm. you know, all of go be amazed. All of go say now, nah, boy, what I was learning before in them other institutions. Right. right. Now all of us say what I was learning before. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know this the, the command in Jerry Hannah, he does actually change your life. That's right. He does actually teach you how to be a brother to your brother. Right. You understand? Know mm -hmm. so and and, and where you learn all that in the Bible. Go ahead and right. yeah, can, 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 yeah. and where you're bring this out is a is a heavy point because a lot of persons may hear you say damn highly um Salasi. Mm -hmm. And might want to you know read might rage in the spirit, but at the end mm -hmm. of the day, as I mentioned, when um highly Salasi came down and he went into the ghettos. It made things worse for black people because mm -hmm. now it brought more division. Right. It brought an additional board right. for black people to run after. Mm -hmm. Right. So then you see the effects. You know, I know probably I might go into it, but the effects are, you know, like Muslim against Rasta. Right. And then against Christians and so forth. Right. So now it's a greater division among black native Indians and Hispanics. Right. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So yeah, that's that, that true. Sure. You understand? You all, you all need to gain your eyes. You be quick. Mm -hmm. You understand? Before, before it's too late. So I'm yeah. Yeah, that's continue, I think. Yeah. For sure, right? So, born in Macraw River, Jamaica, Howell left the country as a youth, traveling to many places, including Panama and New York, and returned in 1932. Right, he returned in 1932. Now, this is very critical to watch at the time period, because in 18... It, it said he was born in 1898. Mm-hmm. And in 1845 was when the East Indians came to Jamaica and Trinidad. Mm. Right? So go ahead. Right. And returned in 1932. He began preaching in 19 to 1933 about what he considered the symbolic portent for the African diaspora. Diaspora, sorry. The crowning of Rastafari Makonen as Emperor Haile Selassie, the first of Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. So now, now, okay, so Rastafari comes from Highly Selassie, right? Which in terms in English was power of the Trinity, mm -hmm. right? And um, the Ras means prince, mm. and Tafari was his name. Tafari, um, Makanin. Makanin. Mm -hmm. That was his name. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, um, 
Well, you continue. Sure. Right. His preaching asserted that Haile Selassie was the Messiah returned to the earth. Mm -hmm. And he published a book called The Promised Key. Although this resulted in his being arrested, tried for sedition, and imprisoned for two years, the Rastafari movement grew. Over the following years, Howell came into conflict with all the establishment authorities in Jamaica. The planters, the trade unions, established churches, police, and colonial authorities. Pause there, Elon. Go ahead. Right. Howell was seen as a threat largely due to the anti-colonial message of the Rastafarian movement, which he was perpetuating along with the sermons promoting the idea of a positive black racial identity. Right. So now all this is um, good to know because at that time, the people in Jamaica knew that hey, this white images that I worship in, this can't save me. So they were looking for a black messiah. Mm -hmm. And that's why they were watching high Selassie as some god. Mm. You understand? Because they wanted a black messiah. Mm -hmm. You understand? Um, they, they believed that, that Christ was a black raster. Mm -hmm. That's who that they um, believed. Mm -hmm. And Haile Selassie was the incarnate of Christ. Mm -hmm. And that he was the, the prophet of God. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But Haile Selassie, he was a strong Christian. That was Haile Selassie, um, he was. He, he right. said that. Mm -hmm. Right? But he did not, um, he didn't say that he is Christ or that he is coming back as Christ. The people had just believed that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Now the people and them had believed. And, and Haile Selassie didn't even know that people across the world was worshipping him as some god. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Or the incarnate of Christ. Mm -hmm. The people just believed that. Right. You understand? Because again in Jamaica they was looking for a black image to take them out of um, oppression. Mm -hmm. And in Jamaica they knew that this white image that they were worshipping mm -hmm. could not take them out of the oppression. Right. Now I says that in the song, um, I have no white God right. would teach me nothing wrong. Right? Mm -hmm. They were looking for a black image to take them out. Mm -hmm. So they just choose to um, pick a highly slash. Yeah. Right. You understand? Know, that, that is what black and his fang does do, you know. Really? We don't know who we God is, so we mm. just jumping, jumping, jumping. Mm. Okay. The, the Chinese, the East Indians, every race know who their God is. Right. Except us mm -hmm. who came off them station. Right. We don't know who we God is. That's why we keep jumping and jumping. And every time we jump in this religion, we hating each other more. Mm. Because that is have nothing to do with our God. Right. right. That is why we end up hating each other more and doing the wrong things to make God punish us. Right. You know, so and who's the number one people in prison right now? It's black people. Mm -hmm. Because why? The, the gods that we worship in, mm. the Lord don't like it. So he's right. punishing us. He's right. cursing us right. in the Bible and putting us in prison. Mm -hmm. The number one people who have diabetes mm. and, 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 and AIDS, sickness, is black people. Mm -hmm. Because the Lord punishing us. We want to eat pork, crab, and shrimp. Well, all right. Mm -hmm. um, the Lord sending um, plagues at us, sickness, mm. disease. Mm -hmm. But you all are coming to school, man. No worries, sir, man. We go. Right. We, we had the solution right. to fix all of that. Correct. And so we go and tell Allah what our identity is, mm -hmm. and we go and teach Allah who Allah God is. Right. Right. Um. Yes, sir. Skip. Yes, yeah, skip down to when he formed the tongue or commune. Right. He formed a tongue or commune called Pinnacle in Saint Catherine Parish, that became famous as a place of a place for Rastafari. This movement prospered, and today the Rastafari faith exists worldwide. Unlike many Rastas, Howell never wrote, dread, never wore dreadlocks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So unlike many Rastas, mm -hmm. Leonard Howell, he never wore dreadlocks. So then where does dreadlocks come from? If right. he was the first Rasta, mm -hmm. where did dreadlocks come from? And I why this man sing this song, I forget the brother's name. Um, yeah. We, we sing the song with um, uh -huh. you don't have to be a star, yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Right. Okay. I forget his name, but he, he knew why he sang that song. You don't have right. to be dread to mm -hmm. be a rasta. Right. You understand? Because he know the first rasta was Leonard Howell, and he didn't mm -hmm. have dreadlocks. Right. So then, where dreadlocks come out from? Right. Dreadlocks came from the East Indians and them. Right. Mm. That's where the dreadlocks came from. So like I said, if I may, yeah, so well. easy to slide in the next go there not to get you <laughs> yeah. more punishment. That's you understand? Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Really? Yeah, is it? Um, give me the article of the, the Which one of them? Masons of Rastafari. Mansions of Rastafari. Right, Mansions of Rastafari. Alright, where to start from? Mansions start from of Rastafari? Start from the top. Alright, I in the bar, right? Mas Mansions of Rastafari is an umbrella term for the various groups 
of the Rastafari movement. Mm -hmm. So it's different groups of the Rastafari movement. Mm -hmm. right? Such groups include the Bobo, Shan Bobo Ashanti, the Naya Bingi, the 12 tribes of Israel, and several smaller groups, including African Unity, Covenant Rastafari, Messianic Jeds, and the, Sel and the Selassian Church. The term is taken from the biblical verse in John 14, 2, in my father's house are many mansions. All right, so, so this, this uh, how to say, the, the, the mansions of um, Rastafari, right. right, is an umbrella term of these various groups. And they got this term from John 14 and 2. Mm. But again, because they're not in the school, they don't understand the Bible. Right. right? You understand? They don't know the Bible because the Spirit and the Lord is not with them. Mm -hmm. You have to be in the school for the Spirit and the Lord to be with you. Mm -hmm. Right. So you could understand the Scripture. Right. You understand? It could be taught in the right way and the correct way. Mm -hmm. You understand? Those, those two brothers who vandalize the, the church building there, mm -hmm. they vandalize it because they, they, they must, the teachings that they was taught was wrong. Right. You understand? They must taught to be high. Mm -hmm. You understand? Again, the dreadlocks came from the East Indians. Mm -hmm. And we, as black people, because we did not have a God, mm -hmm. and we searching for a God, we end up jumping to the East Indian God, mm -hmm. which was Shiva. Mm -hmm. When they look at the God Shiva, mm -hmm. they have um, Shiva have long dreadlocks. Mm -hmm. There's where black people in Jamaica got dreadlocks from, from mm -hmm. worshipping Shiva. Mm -hmm. Because the East Indians at that time, mm -hmm. when Rastafarianism was out, mm -hmm. um, the East Indians was there and they had their God. Mm -hmm. But we don't have a God. Mm -hmm. We was worshipping this, this white image. Mm -hmm. But we knew that this white image can take us out of oppression. So we turned mm -hmm. to, the, um, to the other race that look dark skinned just like we, mm -hmm. and say we go follow Shiva. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because Shiva had dreadlocks and also Shiva, they used to get high. The Eastern right. believe that the more high they got, mm -hmm. it would have bring them closer to the goal. Mm -hmm. And the longer that the dreadlocks were, the dreadlocks were like antennas, mm -hmm. it would have bring them closer to the goal. Mm -hmm. And we as black people, because we had no goal, we jumped to them goal mm -hmm. and just believe it and run with it and create a dreadlocks. But right. again, let's just show how the Bible read. The Bible says, we is the salt of you. Right. <laughs> you understand? Like, them had dreadlocks and... It, mm. it was like nothing. Mm. Mm. Right. It was like dung. Dung mm -hmm. at the earth. Right. <laughs> when we bring it out now, we get flavor. Everybody right. want to be a, a Rasta now. Mm. You understand? Mm. But still, it, that had nothing to do with us. Right. You understand? So we go and really explain to you know, what the John 14 and 2 really means. Right. Okay. Go ahead. Yes, sir. My bad. My bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Right. The book of John, chapter 14 and verse 2. In my father's house. There are many mansions. If it were not, not so, I would have told you, mm -hmm. I go to prepare a place for you. Mm -hmm. right, I go to prepare a place for you. So what Christ was saying here is, hey, I know all are going through hell right now. Mm -hmm. not all of the poor, all of the suffering. Mm -hmm. And a mansion is considered to be something that is rich, mm -hmm. wealthy. Mm -hmm. Christ is saying when he's come back and he prepares a place for us, Israel is going to be rich. Right. Right. It has many mansions. We go be the one wealthy now. Right. You understand? Because because right now in this um kingdom, this white man kingdom that we living in here right now, mm -hmm. them living in all the mansions. That's yeah. Right. You understand? Them is you ones who rich and wealthy. Right. You understand? We we don't have that. Even mm -hmm. though we fight their wars mm -hmm. for them, we still in rich and wealthy. Mm -hmm. You understand? Brilliant. So Christ is saying, hey, in my father's house have many mansions. Mm -hmm. and when I come. I could be pure peace. Right. We could be the ones that I'm rich. So okay, so if I mean, in other words, like I get to man saying, you know, you know, like about to run the place, then he let you know why you don't study that. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? You know, don't hang on to, to Shiva and don't hang on to, to, to the, you know, the oppressor God, right. the colonial master God, right. the, mm -hmm. the Chinese God. Don't worry about that. You know, when I come back, I go study too. I go, I go lock it. You know what I mean? I go let you know and buy. Uh, I run everything. Don't worry. Yeah. I, 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 I have no false way. Don't worry. Don't right. be tough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. So. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. So yeah. That's it. The. That John 14 and 2 had none to do with Naya Bingi, Bobo Shanti. Mm -hmm. That had none to do with that. Right. Right. But again, what there was taught, there wasn't taught the, the, the proper way. Right. You understand? So come mm -hmm. in the school and we go teach all the laws of the Bible. This Bible was only written for black people. Mm -hmm. Black and inspired. It wasn't written for no other race. Right. This is your God, black man, in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You can't go in no other institution and find out who your God is. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, just, just look at it. It's years we go into these different institutions and it's years mm. we killing each other like dogs mm -hmm. in the streets. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's years mm. fighting on one another. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's years it's just back and alley. Your neighbor come across to mm. ask for um, um, a pound of sugar or some sugar to make tea for the children mm -hmm. because they ain't really have. Mm -hmm. You understand? And, and it's years you're you bad talking to the neighbor, but everybody say they love the neighbor ain't have no sugar. Mm. And they bad talking to everybody. Mm. Maybe I just gave him about sugar, you know? Right. Done that day, because I hear brother. Why you want to mm -hmm. bad talk him man for wrong? Mm -hmm. The whole neighborhood for right. right. That's not, that not brotherly. Right. To be, to be little man. Mm -hmm. right. You understand? It's years you're doing that because why we worshiping in these other institutions yes, that not teaching us our God mm -hmm. and not teaching us brotherhood or sisterhood? That's right. right. Okay. So, um, you continue to as well? Right. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Right. Many individual rasters are only loosely affiliated with, the, with these mansions, or not at all. In keeping with the principle of freedom of conscience, a general distrust of, inter, of institutionalism shared by many, and the teachings of Haile Selassie the first as emperor, that faith is private and a direct relationship requiring no intermediary. Beliefs, offer, slucky, um, beliefs differ between the mansions with varying views on the Bible, dreadlocks, diet, and ganja. Right, so, so of course these different umbrellas and mm. them nah biggie bobo shanti, you give me next article, right? Yes, sir. Nah biggie bobo shanti, all of them have different views on it. Mm -hmm. So they leave the freedom of conscience, meaning let them have the, the, the opinion to view it mm -hmm. as that. Mm -hmm. You understand? So they have different beliefs in the Bible or, or dreadlocks or, right. or, you know, the dietary law of ganja. Right? So like I said, and the thing is, when you're saying it's so evident and it's so real, and mm -hmm. if you ever bongs up, most uh, uh, rasters you see, the practicing rasters then on the street, whatever. just recently a man say, when you're breaking down certain things with them according to the Bible, yeah? you say to each, to, uh, to to each man, he order, he order, order now. Right. So everything is the same, the same thing they learn from there, that is what vibrating, in, or that is, the, that is the, the mind state that they end in, you know what I mean? So that is the same exact thing you see in here, right. in the article coming out, and that is where you can see surface now. But again, you can't have division in the house. That's right. Or, or you go have, you know what I mean? A mansion here, and what go happen? They go end up fighting each other because they feel it. That mansion go take more from that mansion, all them different things in them. That's so right. that's not what the Lord give you. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, that, that is it. You give me next article, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So now when those East Indians again, as I say, came to, um, to Jamaica in the 1800s, right. right? They were them was the substitute workers mm -hmm. for um, black people. Right. Right. They then went and worked for pay mm -hmm. because the former slaves, who was the black people, refused to work with their former slave master. Right. They didn't want to work for their former slave master. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was understandable that the traumas that they've been through. Right. You used know, so to go back and work with that same slave master mm -hmm. who put you through all that trauma training in a um, fire, cutting you up, hmm. hanging you. Mm -hmm. I believe I was reading some article that say they used to pass in, in molasses. When mm -hmm. you used to get chubby, you used to chew in molasses. Yeah. Yeah. Pop molasses. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So we went through hell so I could understand why it is they didn't want it to work with the former slave master, the right. trauma right. that they've been through. Mm. You understand? But the East Indians came and they mm -hmm. were looking for money. Right. Right? Because at that time, the, the India was, was um, a colony of the British Empire. Mm -hmm. Right, so the East Indians also brought in um, the practices of ganja, mm. right, which was smoking weed, mm -hmm. right, and the dietary law for, for mystical and, and spiritual purposes, mm. right, and that is where black people gained from, from those East Indians and them. Right. Um, yeah, read, read the articles. Yes, sir. Okay. Right. There are, three different, there are three distinct Rastafarian orders and sects with different beliefs and symbols. These orders and sects, however, agree on two common principles, the exalted status of Haile Selassie the first, and the, reje and the rejected, yeah. and the rejected, so like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Say Bobo Shanti. For All right, for sure, right? Mm -hmm. Bobo Shanti, the word Bobo Shanti is derived from Bobo, which stands for black, mm -hmm. and Ashanti, which is the fierce African tribe from Kumasi, Ghana. Mm -hmm. it, right, can on, can on. Yeah. it is believed that most of the slaves brought to Jamaica were from the Ashanti tribe, and are the ancestors of many Jamaicans. The late Prince Emmanuel Charles, Charles, uh, sorry, Emmanuel Charles Edwards founded the Bobo Shanti Order in Jamaica in the 1950s. The new Bobo Shanti Order leader is Trevor Stewart. 
The Bobo Shanti used Revelations 5 to justify Prince Emmanuel as the reincarnate of Christ. Mm -hmm. So again, them just don't understand the Bible, right? You can't use Revelation 5 to say that Emmanuel is the reincarnate of, of Christ. Mm -hmm. Christ said return it. That's right. Christ said in the Bible, when he return it, it's going to be blood. A right. blood bath is going to take place. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and the world will know when Christ returns. Right. Everybody's going to feel it because Christ is going to return with 200 million angels. Right. It is going to look like an alien invasion. Right. right. So he is not Christ. Right. Definitely he's not Christ. Highly Slasser, he's not Christ. You understand? Though you're just coming to UPT. Right. That, that is okay. what I can tell you, right? Right. And learn the other culture. Right. right. So yeah, go ahead. Come down. He is regarded as the reincarnate black Christ in a priestly state. He is called by most members of the Bobo Shanti as Prince Emmanuel Charles Edwards, without mother or father, a priest of Melchizedek. The black Christ in the flesh. He, along with his descendants and Haile Selassie, are seen as gods. Marcus Garvey is regarded as a prophet. The Boboshanti believe in black supremacy and that there should be the repatriation of all black people to Africa. In addition, the Boboshanti order also believes that black people should be reimbursed monetarily for slavery. The members of the Boboshanti house are sometimes called Bobo Dreads. Members of this order dress very differently from all the other orders. They wear long robes and very tightly wrapped turbans. They also live separate from society and the other Rastafarian orders in their current base in the nine in the nine miles area of Bull Bay, Jamaica. Right. So, so these are the three distinct Rastafarianism sects and orders that we're talking right here. Mm -hmm. So that first one was the, the Bobo Shanti, right? It has a lot more. But scroll on to the next one. I think is Naya Bingi. Concur. Okay. Nyabingi Order, the Theocratic Priesthood and Liberty Order of Nyabingi. The Nyabingi Order is the oldest of all Rastafarian orders. The name Nyabingi is derived from Queen Nyabingi, who ruled Uganda in the 19th century. Right, so, so the word Nyabingi came from African Queen right. mm -hmm. in Uganda. Mm -hmm. That's what Nyabingi come from. Right. So, go on, go ahead. She fought against the, colon the colonialists in Uganda. All other orders came from this sect. Members of this sect focus mainly on Emperor Haile Selassie, and they proclaim that he is the incarnation of the supreme deity. The Nyabingi order push for their rep for their repatriation to Ethiopia, from where they believe all black people came. Right. So now all black people then came from Ethiopia. Give me Galatians 4 and 26. Correct. Okay. Right. All black people did not came from Ethiopia. Right. That is a lie. Right. Yeah, so I'm going to prove it in the Bible now. Right. Can I cancer? Mm -hmm. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 4 and verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Mm -hmm. right. Jerusalem is the mother of us all. Right. right? When I go back in, in, in time, you know, so again, we, we did the research. Mm -hmm. The um, civilization began mm -hmm. in the Middle East. Right. It started in, in Wales, a place now where it's called Iraq. Right. Right. But before that was Jerusalem. Jerusalem was a big place. So it was right. like the Middle East. Right. Is where everything started. Mm -hmm. Right. Not in Africa, not in Ethiopia. Give right. me the next scripture um, Zephaniah 2 and 12. Mm -hmm. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 12. <coughs> Hmm. Ye Ethiopians also, ye shall be slain by my sword. Mm -hmm. Ye Ethiopians also shall be slain by my sword. You understand? It is, it is the Lord talking here. Mm -hmm. You understand? So if if we come from Ethiopia, that is the mothers of all Ethiopia, mm -hmm. or, or highly Selassie was was the reincarnate of Christ. Mm -hmm. Why did Lord say you want to kill the, the Ethiopians? Right. Yeah. You understand? The Ethiopians have nothing to do with black people. Right. Right. They, they are Africans. Mm -hmm. We as black people who came up the safe ships is not African. Right. Right. And that that what the world taught other. The world taught other that all is Africans, but mm -hmm. all is not Africans. Right. Once they could take that concept out of your head, not because your dark skin and complexion means it's African. Right. Okay. Right, because the the, the tunnel, so then you're trying to say what well, is that East Indian too? Mm. Because East Indians dark just like us. Right. The Arabs, the Muslims, and them dark skin just like us. So why do you call yourself a East Indian mm -hmm. or a Arab? 
Why right? is specifically seeing African? African. Mm. You understand? Say, yeah, I'm a cargo. Yeah, you cannot cancel. We're bringing it up too heavy, right? Mm-hmm. Because a lot of persons who might be, you know, arguing on the defense of um, like Haile Selassie and so forth, not mm-hmm. realizing that the basis of the whole argument is identity crisis. Just mm-hmm. as they rightfully bring it out. Right. right? And it's time for blacks, Native Indians, and Hispanics now to seek out now who they are. Right. Because mm-hmm. you always run them now to investigate the, 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 the history of others. Mm-hmm. But we in the ISPK, as the officer bringing out here, right. come into the school. Mm-hmm. And we know is going to teach you your identity and make right. you to understand which part you should pursue. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Which is under the Cherna Israel. Right. So right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Christ, is it? Come mm-hmm. In fact, give, give me a Revelation 1 and 7. Come mm-hmm. and answer. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 7. Mm-hmm. Behold, he cometh with clouds, mm-hmm. and every eye shall see him. Right, so everybody will see him. This is Christ that he's mm-hmm. talking about here now. Christ is going to come with clouds, and everybody will see him. Come, mm-hmm. come. Go, don't feel him, go see him. Right. Right. I I never see Haile Selassie, right? so definitely he's not Christ. Right. I'm right. Yeah. So at that time when Christ returned, everybody was going to see him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm good. I'm good. And they also which pierce him, mm-hmm. and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Mm-hmm. Even so, Amen. Right. So everybody will see Christ. The ones who like him, the ones who don't like him, right. mm-hmm. the ones who want to fight against him. Mm-hmm. Everybody is going to see Christ when he returns. Right. You understand? Right. Um, so like I said, yes, if I may, because well, everybody that, and, and this does never come up because again, the, the, the lies and the, or the, 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 the soft talk or the smooth talk, the smooth words then at the Christian church, right? We dismiss this part, which is Christ say that if this kingdom, if you see the reason why my soul is this those fight, you know, because this is not my kingdom. That's right. mm-hmm. When when I come to settle my kingdom here, we feel like coming back for any talk. Mm-hmm. Or, they, or they kill me, it's kill, or they kill me, or they murder me. Why do? I all through the scriptures they show you when Christ once was walking, he has a man that didn't do no sin. If all he died for we, you understand? So if he mm-hmm. just coming back and give everybody a pass. Mm-hmm. No, Christ see them thing for a particular reason, you understand? Right. So this could never be who they're talking about here. You understand? There's a next lie again, as Christ saying, many I did Christ will come, you understand? Watch out for them. There's a next lie there, and that is what black people have to understand. Understand your king and what it is your people I used to go to as you know saying there. Okay. And we go to, you go directly back to the part where it, it here, they will not here, but you do and you never see the blueprint. That is all. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir, go ahead. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I give me um oh God, you want with 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 give my judges sixteen and thirteen. Sixteen and thirteen. Yeah, judges here. So that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Judges sixteen and thirteen. This is the book of Judges. Chapter 16 and verse 13. And Delilah said unto Samson, Hear to, thou hast mocked me and told me lies. Tell me wherewith thou mightest be bound. And he said unto her, If thou weaveth the seven locks of my head with the web. Mm-hmm. So now, when these um. When these people who don't know the Bible reading this, they go say that this is dreadlocks, right? But what Samson had in his here was not dreadlocks. There's a difference between lock and dreadlocks, mm-hmm. right? It's just like a, a normal lock where you just lock home. You know, you take a key and you turn the lock mm-hmm. and then go unlock and lock back, mm-hmm. right? That is a lock. That right. we have in our hair, we could twist our hair and plait it, okay. and untwist it mm-hmm. to plait it, just mm-hmm. like that, right? So, so the key go be with hands then. The the, the lock is, is we here then. Right. You know, we take the key, we unplait it, or we we lock it back okay. in mm-hmm. place. That what right. the locks is. Mm-hmm. A dreadlocks, you cannot unplait it. Right. A dreadlocks, you have to cut it off. Mm-hmm. You have to take a shave and cut it off, or scissors and cut it off. Mm-hmm. That way, just do it at dreadlocks. Mm-hmm. You understand? So what Samson had was locks, the, the plaits in, in, in his hair, not dreadlocks. Mm-hmm. You understand? So what those, ra- the Rastafari movement got dreadlocks from mm-hmm. was from the goddess Shiva. Right. From the East Indians and mm-hmm. that have nothing to do with black people. Right. right. You understand? So um, that's all you continue your continuing your Continue good. Huh? Right. Right, so all other orders came from this sect. Members of this members of this sect focus mainly on Emperor Haile Selassie, and they proclaim that he is the incarnation of the supreme deity. The Nabingi order pushed 
for their repatriation to Ethiopia, from where they believe all black people came. Ethiopia plays a major role in this sect and is represented in all their symbols, including their flag. Their flag is a little different from others, as the placement of the colors is different. Yes, green. So, so you know how they say it, um, ice, ice, gold, gold and green. green. Yes, sir. Right, them one just, gold, just reverse, gold, yeah. that is all. That's so, it. Yeah, right? Their flag is a little different from all others, as the placement of the colors is different. Green to the top. The vegetation of Ethiopia, gold, middle, and mineral wealth of Ethiopia, and red, at the bottom, the blood of the the blood of Ethiopians. I know, so you can go on twelve tribes now. We we'll see. Oh, no, good. No. Twelve tribes. This sect was founded by in 1968 by Dr. Vernon Prophet God Carrington, and is the most liberal of all the other Rastafarian orders. The members of this sect are free to worship in a church of their choosing or within the privacy of their house. Mm -hmm. Members. Right. Yes, sir. Right, so when they read the, um, the 12 tribe chart here, um, you know, you can't see it. Mm. You know, they had the, the same 12 tribe chart here, but they have colors next to it. Mm -hmm. yes, and uh, again, you, you mm -hmm. can't um, not be in the school and don't know the Bible. It's just confusion. You're going to be right, teaching right. other people right. or receiving from the ones who even are in the school. Mm -hmm. It's just confusion. Give me um, Jeremiah 10 and Yes, one. Sir. Just before you move on, sir, because our, and our next solid thing too, because I hear this before. The twelve tribes they believe that everybody, every the, the twelve the tribes the tribes and them is every month. <laughs> so like January, February, what kind of madness yeah. is this? Yeah. And these people they're talking about. There's a historical record of people that right. they've seen in Genesis here. Right. They read in the Bible and that's keeping up. They didn't read the Bible. <laughs> first thing first, and they, of course when they read the Bible they ain't gonna understand because how. And again, if you're all in your mind state, you're you right. can never really, you know, follow a chain or connect the dots then. That's right. Because how you can read people, and then all of a sudden they change the months and, and, and colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Again, they, just, they, they know the Bible. That is it. They know um, they had a spirit of the Lord in them. Cannot yeah. Really? Good. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Hear ye the word of the Most High speaketh unto you, O house of Israel, thus saith the Lord. Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Right, so don't be dismayed at the signs of heaven. Now, learn not the way of the heathen. Right. First thing first, don't, don't learn um, the way of the heathen, which is for Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. um, Christmas, you know, um, um, Boxing Day. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know, don't learn the ways of the heathen. Don't learn their religion. Right. right. Don't learn their institutions that they'll be teaching you. Mm -hmm. You understand? You, you all come in the school and you'll learn your records. Right. right. Because this Bible is about you alone, black man, no right. other race. Right. You understand? You could we'll get them scripture soon and my wife to show that. Come on, come on. Okay. You understand? So don't learn the way of the heathen. Don't be dismayed at these the, the signs mm -hmm. that are of heaven. Mm -hmm. You know, you see a shooting sign, say, hey, look at shooting sign, let me make a wish. Right. You know, um, don't, don't be dismayed at it. Right. You understand? You see. What's well, called an eclipse? Don't be mm -hmm. dismayed at oh, mm -hmm. you understand? Uh, the, the signs in heaven. Right. Don't be dismayed at it. Yeah, go ahead. Come on, come on. Okay. So like I said, even, um, even as you mentioned before, right? A simple thing as the colors you was mentioning, the ice, green, and gold. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, we be in attached to hidden customs now, like exalt, for example, these colors to do something special for black people. And it's to be still in the ghetto. Mm -hmm. When the, 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 the Bible now is showing us as black people, that what we built on is laws, commandments, and statutes that can take us out of the condition we're in. Right. So, you know, so I just wanted to add that point yeah. in, because bring out a, a, a real powerful point in terms of the colors and so forth, mm -hmm. and the signs and the ways of the healing. Right. Yes, Salakia. Yeah, most of the Yes, sir. That, that yeah. is it. Um, give me first Corinthians 3 and 16. Can one cancel? Mm -hmm. the, the book of first Corinthians um, chapter 3 and verse 16. Mm -hmm. Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High, and that the Spirit of the Most High dwelleth in you? Mm -hmm. Do you remember something, Isaac? Um, 17. If any man defile the temple of the Most High, him shall the Most High destroy, for the temple of the Most High is holy. Mm -hmm. Which temple ye are? Mm -hmm. So the, the temple of the Mosai is holy. Right. Mm -hmm. Right? The, this this body here is, is the Lord's own. Right. Can't defile this holy temple. Can, mm -hmm. can. You understand? You, you cannot defile the Lord's holy temple. Correct. Which is you. Mm 
Mm -hmm. You know how he has defiled the laws through the temple? Mm -hmm. By eating pork, right. by eating crab. Right, and on, on the topic that we're on, mm -hmm. by smoking weed. That's right. right. Yes, and the Lord said, no, he cannot be smoking weed. That's right. Yes, and smoking weed is wrong. Mm -hmm. It is a sin in the Bible to smoke weed, and it is a sin to be a drug dealer. Right. In the Bible. Mm -hmm. Yes, and why would you want to sell your brother drugs for? Mm. Yes, and he, he already going through oppression. Yeah, we understand that, um, mm. you know, the little marijuana might, might ease it. But when the, the marijuana done, mm. and the oppression still there. Right. You understand? You just come in the UPK, man. We go right. show you the solution to really so, okay, so we'll, we'll attack those oppression here. And, 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 and here the sad thing about it. What about a nice pot? You understand? A nice little whiskey, a nice little liquor. Doing the same mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Right? Just do over. And, and still go get a guideline. You know what I mean? Yeah. If things real, like the scripture telling you, man, that, that, you know, that ready to go and die. I mean, gave, gave him some liquor, but at the mm -hmm. same time, you know, he was still watch, watch out for him. Yeah. According to what state he in, what state she in, you know, but our sister, he was still have people watching over here, you know what I mean? So that even though in your pain you're going through, you still have somebody there along the lines, and you know, you might be able to hear too much words because so right. much pain. At the same time, you know, you have something that, that you make sure you drink, okay, yeah. You ain't drinking, you know what I mean, for 10,000 days, you know what I mean? Because you have some pain, it's just to ease it for a temporary time. But you know, your, your lungs ain't going to be black. It, you know what I mean? Your mind could be altered for you to do something out of the time, man, and sin against the most high. Nah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. and, and, and that and, and that what the scripture say, you know? Um, drink no longer water, but a little wine. A little wine, correct. Yeah. The stomach sick. Correct. You understand? But uh, as the officer bring out as well, you know, we, we go get your guidelines. Right. Sure. You can't be drunk mm -hmm. that you drink so much alcohol, you want to strip naked in the mm -hmm. road. Right. Or you want to... Just throw away your, 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 um, your rent money. Mm -hmm. You're so drunk, you just dip in your pocket and just throw away your rent money. Mm -hmm. So now you can't be drunk to that point. That's a sin. Right. That's why they call Christ a wine bibber. Mm -hmm. Because they wanted to mm -hmm. chastise him for um, being drunk. But Christ was never drunk. Right. right. Them was just trying to chastise him for being drunk to say, you're mm -hmm. a sinner because you're a wine bibber and you're drunk. Mm -hmm. you know, so but Christ was never drunk. He right. used to just drink a lot of wine. Mm -hmm. That's why his eyes was red. Right. God. He used mm -hmm. to drink so much wine. Mm -hmm. But he never used to drink so much to get drunk. He used to strip him naked and you know, kind of craziness. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. So the, your, your body, you is the, is the Lord's temple. Mm -hmm. Don't defy the Lord's temple. Don't stop eating pork, crab, shrimp, and lobster. Don't, m't mm -hmm. do, do believe in those um, the, the, the Rastafarian is a movement. Right. And, and go and want to vandalize a, a building. Mm -hmm. You understand? Cause, cause when I, again, when High Sassai came, you know, he didn't vandalize no building. Mm -hmm. So the same people who forcing us hmm. to worship High Sassai, mm -hmm. them are not even following right. what Sassai was doing. Right. You understand? So it's mm. just. It's just hypocrisy all over. Is it? It's just hypocrisy all over, confusion. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know Things just to make us stray and worship other gods mm -hmm. and we yeah. worship yeah. other gods. Mm -hmm. We go end up destroying ourselves. Mm -hmm. We go just um, right. punish us more. We go end up going in prison. Mm -hmm. We go end up dying. We go end up getting cancer, diabetes, mm -hmm. right. some sort of sickness because mm -hmm. the Lord punishing us because we're not coming to Him. Right. Just come in the UPK. We go I teach see. all of the laws of the Bible. Mm -hmm. You understand? We, we go teach all the way. No police officer won't even come to you because mm -hmm. they're not doing nothing illegal in the first right. place. Mm -hmm. You understand? A police officer go only go to you if you're doing something illegal. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to end up shooting you and um, mm -hmm. kill you. Right. Because you're doing something illegal in the first place. Right. Mm -hmm. You understand? You're, you're just coming to the UPK. You know, when the police officer see you, you know. You PK gears on them don't know all right you exactly. you ain't doing nothing wrong, you go away. Correct. Yeah, Zani in some stop and search, you say you PK right now, you you go away. I don't exactly. know all they so you know, all they doing nothing nothing wrong wrong. Right. Mm -hmm. You understand? Correct. So I'm your right, anything that I'm saying? Ah uh, yes, sir, I can say mm -hmm. if I mean, you know what I mean? Yes, I'll see. There's one other slip the scene, you know what I mean? All mm -hmm. blacks, sure. native Indians and Hispanics. Right. Right. They need to get into the ICPK as Correct. the camp leader officer Galavan bringing out, right? right? The camp leader, the head of Trinidad. Right. They need to get in here mm -hmm. to understand your health, your history, right. and your culture and who you are. Correct. So then now in your fight, you will know what you're fighting for. That is it. Who you're supposed to be fighting for. Correct. Right? Because this is the basis of all black people. Correct. On the face of the earth. Correct. Knowing your identity. That is it. Knowing that Christ is a black man. Right. Right from the nation of Israel. That's right. right. That is one of the slip that in the mm -hmm. For sure. For sure. And, and yeah. if I may just say, that is, that is exactly what it is. Right? Mm -hmm. And you also want to tune in. 
right, to come on in Jillian on a right. Monday, 9 mm -hmm. p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You follow? The That's same right. man that pouring in, you understand, this wisdom and instructions of brothers like myself, you understand? Right. And we can have the opportunity to even understand what the hell going on. You, you follow? So you want to tune in, right, on YouTube and on Facebook, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the Black Watch, the number is there, you understand? So call up um, ICBK Channel to be go, Officer Galwan. Two nine zero five one seven three. You understand? Reach yeah. out because that is your solution. Black man, Hispanic man, you different right. man and woman. You understand? Reach out and think. Don't frighten. Fight Satan. Mm -hmm. You understand? Don't come back to your, to come back to, to your roots. You understand? Come back to what has worked for you. All right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah, Musa and Christ. And I said, give me um, mm -hmm. the, the one where, where it says um, the Bible is written for us. That is Psalms 149, I think. Um, Psalms 147, 19 to 20. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. so, this is the book of Psalms 147. And verse 19. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He showeth his word unto Jacob, mm -hmm. his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Right, so the Lord show his words unto Jacob. Jacob right. was the forefather of black people. Right. Right, the 12 tribes Judah, Benjamin, Levi goes straight on to um, mm -hmm. uh, Asher. Mm -hmm. Right, the whole 12 child chart. Mm -hmm. all, yeah. all of them was black people. Right. Well, them as black people. Right? When you read the Bible, the word black just means, it means us, because we was going through our oppression. It right. doesn't mean our skin complexion, because right. nobody not literally black, like a black boy. Right. Nobody not that skin complexion. Right. right. So when I was calling us black, it just means because we was black because of the oppression that we was going through. Right. No other race was black because them was not going through the kind of oppression that we the Israelites was going through. Right. The Africans wasn't black. The Chinese and them not black. The right. East Indians not black. We right. black. Right. Because of the oppression that we was going through. Okay. And Jacob was our forefathers, who's the Israelites. Mm -hmm. Jacob. And the Lord said he showed him alone his words. Why is it the Lord's words? Mm -hmm. His laws, his commandments. Mm -hmm. Right? The Bible. Right. So yeah, go ahead. Come on, come on. Verse 20. He had not dealt so with any nation. Right? He said he have not dealt so with any nation. Right? In today's language, the Lord didn't show his words to any other race. Right. right. The only race that he showed his laws to mm -hmm. was black people. Mm -hmm. Right? Go ahead, Tamo. Come on, come on. Mm -hmm. And for his judgments, they have not known them. And for his judgments, they have not known them. That is why when you see um, the other races do something wrong, them won't be the number one people lock up, like how black people is the right. number one will lock up. Mm -hmm. You understand? The, the, the Lord said, do be an adulterer. Mm -hmm. You understand? Do, do have sex with, with, with prostitutes and mm -hmm. whores. Mm -hmm. You understand? The number one people who have AIDS, syphilis, these, these sickness and diseases mm -hmm. is black people. Mm -hmm. You understand? The other races doing the same thing we're doing or not? Mm. But we getting punished for it. Right. We facing the judgment mm -hmm. because the Bible was only written for black people. That's right. right. It wasn't written for no other race. Mm -hmm. You understand? But you know that, that that time is coming when the Lord saying, you know, "Alright, enough is enough." Mm -hmm. Coming and are coming to um, attack them other races will attack my um, right. people. Right. Right. You understand? That's why the Lord send the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, and it is it, right now. It, I think. China may go back into a lockdown mm -hmm. because the COVID cases rising so high. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because mm -hmm. why they, they eating thing that is unlawful? Mm -hmm. When the kingdom of heaven come and returns, mm -hmm. like how them was forcing us to eat pork mm -hmm. and all kind of unlawfulness, mm -hmm. when the kingdom of heaven returns, mm -hmm. we ain't going to tell them to eat nothing unlawful. Mm -hmm. They go and eat the lawful food stuff. Mm -hmm. They go and eat buffalo. Right. Um, they go eat um, wagon. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Understand? You want to eat lawful chicken. food, right, chicken. Right, right. You understand? Lawful food, not the mm -hmm. unlawful things. Right. And we go and be the slave master, and them go be the slaves. That's it. Correct. You understand? Any last thing? Come on. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because um, mm -hmm. black man, Hispanic man, native Indian man, and woman, all they need to understand that hey, the Lord favor you. You understand? You just never seen it so because nobody ain't tell you the truth. Nobody want to tell you the truth. Yeah. Nobody yeah. want you. You understand? Believing that there's a different way to live. You know what I mean? They just want you, you understand, to, to, to continue to, to destroy each other and destroy your own mind because it is work for them economically. They're not, they're not hurting their pockets. Understand what's going on? They're playing for money and power. You understand? So you have to come out of that shop and come in the school. Ask the question and come out of that. You, where, where else you want to try again? You want to, you want to, look what's going on. I listen, I see and all of them. Everybody try, you know what I mean? Continue to, to cause more confusion. So why not try the Lord? Try and see. 
right? Yes, uh, and still, like, before we go, I just want to say contact the number 290 That's right, Daniel. You understand? I'll follow any council or anything. That right. is the number to call 290 right. and get into the school. That's we are right. on TikTok, Twitter, Facebook. Let's type in ISUPK Trinidad. Right. right. The views expressed are not necessarily the views of the management of the street. 919 FM. Yeah, that's that, that's that shit.